the 33rd degree total solar eclipse that splits the nation in half. Ladies and gentlemen, Rex Bear League Project, how the heck are you? What are your plans for this solar eclipse? And are you taking advantage of Bless the Water Day today? There is so much going on right now. I spent the night in a hotel, so I've had to watch cable to pass the time. And it's been great because it gave me an idea for this podcast. After listening to the communist broadcasting station, CBS, push the George Soros-backed agenda of anybody that's white or anybody that thinks for themselves is automatically a fascist, and that goes for uh, President Trump. They are certainly making him look like a fascist racist um, because he isn't meeting the requirements of the George Soros agenda to make America a dilapidated nation. No, they don't want America great. They want it turned into a nation full of walking zombies that are two IQ points away from chewing people's faces off. You think I'm exaggerating? Look up the Communist Manifesto. The Communist Manifesto has a specific agenda to take a nation of great wealth and strength and divide it by bringing in a whole bunch of different cultures that don't agree. Now, first of all, I could care less what color you are, what religious preference you have, what political or sexual preference you have, who are you as a person? What do you think, what do you do? That's what makes you, you. It's not those ridiculous labels. Those might have an impact on who you are and what makes you, you, but what do you do? Are you helping people or are you hurting people? The psychological neuro-linguistic programming conditioning that I see on the mainstream media, controlled by six corporations and about 300 executives, that get funded by institutions that are owned and controlled by people like George Soros, oftentimes, well, they got to get their paycheck, so what do they do? They knock on the commander-in-chief. Anything President Trump does, they will find a way to spin it and make him look like the bad guy. First, they'll attack him for, say, uh, for claiming that he's not sane enough. Then they'll attack him for not doing enough. And then they'll say, well, it's too late now what he says. Now he needs to do something about it. Oh, you know, the president is there to calm the nation. You think that's what Obama did? Then President Trump gets attacked for other people complimenting him because of their beliefs. I'm telling you guys, the media is really pushing a divide-and-conquer scenario right now. And what better time than the total solar eclipse that literally divides the nation in half on its 33rd-degree parallel? Look at institutions like Antifa that are funded by people like George Soros, literally terrorist organizations that are getting away with just about anything they want to. Then you've got people that have darker skin color that are in politics attacking the commander-in-chief, saying that he has questionable morals and values. And they're saying the only people that ever experienced pain and slavery were people of color. No, no, no Irish people were ever slaves. No, no, no Asian people. No, no, no Egyptians. No people of Jewish descent. They were never slaves. No, just black people. And, and I'm a racist for saying that. Really? Are you guys that brain dead? Completely trying to rewrite history and erase history. Why do you get mad at your ancestors for selling your ancestors to white people? And other people of color as well? Who cares? It's disgusting. And whoever does the screenwriting and the speech writing for these anchor people and people that are on the good morning talk shows that millions of people watch and get brainwashed into their agendas on a daily basis, they're very good at either stirring the pot, getting people to, to fall for their deceit, or people that are awake like myself and many of you, they do a really good job of pissing us off because we see what they're doing. They don't want to make America great again. They want to destroy the nation. 
Like, I have lots of friends that are black, Hispanic, Asian, European, from the Middle East. I don't care where you're from. So what are you doing? Are you helping people by feeling sorry for yourself? Like, I have very dear friends that are black, and they're telling me the same thing. They're like, this is disgusting. This doesn't do good for us or anybody. The divide and conquer card is in full force right now. When you have politicians coming out and saying that they're doing their best to get doctors to do a psychological test on the president, why do you think they want to do that? They're doing anything they can to get him out of office. There's some crazy stuff going on in the administration right now. What's up with the double standards? That's what I want to know. What is up with the double standards? Organizations like Antifa, that's what I'm going to call them, Antifa, they are full-on terrorists sometimes. And the media will record them, and the cops will stand by and let them get away with it because they're told by their superiors to stand down. Where do you think it comes from, you guys? Within the next six months, we could see full-on civil war. And they'll use the race card, they'll use the politics card, and the religion card. Like they've always done in the past. They're going to cause riots. And then they're going to use martial law as a way to calm the masses down. And you've got those wonderful FEMA camps that don't exist, supposedly then uh, you've got those wonderful checkpoints that don't exist, supposedly. Then you might even have the implementation of a microchip society, which doesn't exist, supposedly. Uh, there might be a fake flu pandemic. Did you hear about the kid that recently got the donkey flu? No, I'm sorry, it's the pig flu. He was at a pig zoo, a pig farm, pet, petted a pig, and got the flu. So now you literally have pig flu, like I've said before. Next is going to be the pig donkey flu. So are they going to create a mass, hysterical, uh, mass hysteria via bacteria or virus designed like the swine flu pandemic that wasn't really a pandemic back in 2008? More people got injured from the vaccines than from the actual flu. See, the CDC is a very powerful organization. Doctors are very powerful. A doctor with the right backing and the proper manipulation tactics could actually, from the research that I've done, supersede the president by saying that the president isn't fit to serve. That's why they're trying to get this whole, this whole thing done right now, psychological profile testing of the president, because they're looking for any way they can to get him out of office. When you have six corporations that control the narrative, and control the media, control what people think and see, they are brainwashing the masses right now. And it's doing one of two things. It's either really pissing you off or you're falling for it and eating it up. You're sucking it down like that genetically modified Slurpee. Getting that brain freeze. Seriously, how many other nations and how many people that have white skin or yellow skin or brown skin have been slaves. We're still slaves right now, folks. Why can't we work together? If, if you're one of the people that's saying, oh, Rex, you're racist. Oh, Rex, you, you think that history shouldn't be changed. You're racist. You're white. You're racist. You're falling for the system that is designed to enslave you. What do you think is going to happen when the country falls down into the toilet because of all of these narcissistic billionaires that are pushing these agendas to destroy the nation because they make money off of destroying the nation, and they don't like it? What do you think they're going to do to you guys that are supposedly on the fighting lines for them? You guys are cannon fodder for them. They could care less about you guys.
if you realized how much you were being used as a pawn, you would be embarrassed. You would hide in your room and not go outside because you would be so embarrassed. You're helping those that are enslaving you. You're helping those that want to destroy you. What's wrong with making America great again? Is there something wrong with that? How do you make America great again by bringing in millions of people that hate the country? How do you do that? Read the Antifa manual and what Antifa wants to do. I'm going to keep calling it Antifa, so just deal with it wants to do to you and your nation. Verbal vomit. Disgusting. Degradation, dilapidation, vagabonds. I don't know, I'm running out of words here, but you get the picture. It's disgusting. We'll leave it at that. Will there be a civil war? Are we on the verge of a civil war? Is it going to happen after the total solar eclipse? Is there going to be a giant earthquake after the solar eclipse? Or is it going to be just regular, everyday life following that event? What's your take? Make sure to bless the water today. Today is the day. Put some good energy into the water. Question everything. Are we in the twilight zone? Be the change you want to see. Nanu, 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 nanu.